Okay, now we are going to decode the sacred geometry of the Rome Colosseum. We are told it was filled with water so they could practice navy games. Oh, really? Do you want to see what I see? Of course you do. Buckle up, we're going in. I hope you all enjoyed that little tour of this 3D model of the Colosseum. Now let's take a look at this configuration. Let's remove the platform on the right so we can see and complete this circuit. Next we will add in our poles, the equatorial poles of course taking care of the compression cycle and the north and south poles taking care of the expansion cycle, the division and multiplication of the sex pairs all of which are operating well within the golden ratio of their cube spheres. Pretty cool, huh? Also take note of the pyramidal patterns of the cubes, or as Santos Panacci would call it, the pyramid, the fire in the center. This is the heart of the machine. You can see now how the symmetry is important in the construction and what it truly means. So, the Rome Colosseum, ladies and gentlemen, is a very large power generation station. Consider Walter Russell's 6 foot in scale footprint model that could run a 52 room university to what something the scale of this Colosseum could run. This could run an entire city with ease. Simply add hot water. So, we can now consider the Rome Colosseum decoded. I hope you enjoyed this presentation and that you can see how easy this really is.